Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a concept called an inscribed angle in context of a circle, okay? And uh, related to the uh, topic, inscribed angle is what they call an intercepted arc, and then I'm going to make a distinction between a major and a minor arc as well, okay? Okay, so let's get started. What's an inscribed angle? So if you take a circle, an inscribed angle has the vertex on the circumference of the circle, okay? So in this case, it would be at B. Then you have two chords that go out from that vertex, right? And creates an angle. And the chord, remember, goes out to the uh, circumference of the circle in, in either direction. So I have an angle basically here. Now this particular angle is given to me as 80. So the question is this, what is the relationship between this angle, an inscribed angle, and the length of the arc that it defines, okay? And that's what is called an intercepted arc, all right? Intercepted arc. It's from A to C, and in this case, you would write AC as this with a little semicircle over the top of AC. Now, you'll also notice that I could have said this part here, well actually no, no, let me just, let me just stop right there. So the intercepted arc, the relationship is that the angle is half of the intercepted arc, or to say it another way, the intercepted arc is twice the angle. Okay, so let's try this. Arc AC is equal to two times the angle. Inscribed angle. Or the other way of saying that is that the angle, and in this case angle ABC, is equal to one half of the intercepted arc. Okay, so either one of these two formulas will work, and you can just go ahead and just plug in numbers as you need to. Now, notice that if angle ABC is 80, that's a given, then one half of the arc, just multiply both sides by two, my intercepted arc is 160 degrees. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about my minor and major arcs. Um, a minor arc is an arc that is less than 180 degrees. Okay. Now, in this particular case, now 180 degrees would mean that if I were to take a line and go right through the center and have a diameter, the diameter would be uh, described two arcs, 180 degrees and 180 degrees. A minor arc is anything less than 180 degrees. A and you can describe a minor arc with just two points. So in this case, for example, AC would be a minor arc. A major arc is, a, is an arc, like for example, if I went in this direction, from here to here, okay? A major arc needs three, let me just write this first, is greater than 180 degrees, and it would need three variables, or three, um, yeah, three letters in order to describe it. So in this case, I would say arc A, B, C, okay? And when you add this, in this case, if you add AC to arc ABC, notice that C is the same at the, at, at the end, beginning at the bows, altogether they would equal 360 degrees. Okay, hope that was helpful.